happened to Enzo Ferrari after the movie. Michael Mann's 12th directorial effort Ferrari portrays the life and struggles of the real-life Enzo Ferrari during the 1950s as the face of the luxury car and racing brand. Adam Driver gives a powerful performance as the titular protagonist alongside an unstoppable display from Penelope Cruz as Enzo's wife, Laura Ferrari. Mann, who is best known for his highly stylized and fast-paced crime thrillers, does an excellent job at providing some heart-pounding action sequences that lead toward a tragic end, which would change the world of racing forever. The ending of Ferrari recreates the fatal crash at the 1957 Mil Miglia, which was an incredibly challenging 1,000-mile race across Italy. Mann expressed that there were many different accounts of what exactly happened during the tragic accident, which makes sense considering nearly all of the accounts were based on witness testimony in the era before extensive camera coverage. Mann was able to ascertain the most accurate depiction of the incident, which he displayed at the end of the film. Mann said of the gruesome scene, the tire got punctured, that it hit a mile marker that launched the car in the air, that it was doing between 140 and 160 when it hit a telephone pole. The wires may have severed his body. We're not sure how that happened, but they found his body in three pieces. After the events depicted at the end of Michael Mann's Ferrari, Enzo Ferrari, and the tire manufacturer Inglebert were charged with manslaughter after the 1957 crash killed nine spectators, five of whom were only children. They would go-go to fight legal battles and avoid jail time until the case was finally dismissed in 1961. According to biography, Ferrari lost the services of several top engineers and executives in the Palace Revolt of 1961, reportedly after a dust-up over the intruding presence of his wife. Two years later, he engaged in serious talks with the Ford Motor Company about merging their operations, before pulling out at the last minute due to concerns over a loss of control. Eventually, Ferrari merged his company with Fiat in 1969, which required him to forfeit some of the controlling aspects of his Ferrari brand. Because of his pervasive financial issues, he was forced to sell a 50% stake in his company to Fiat during the time of the merger. Enzo Ferrari retired as president of Ferrari in 1977 but retained control of the business even after stepping away from that role. His wife, Laura, died one year later at the age of 78. Before agreeing to a deal with Fiat in 1969, Ferrari enjoyed continued success at Le Mans and Formula One throughout the 1960s. Ferrari's racing team experienced more tragedy under Enzo. As depicted in Michael Mann's Ferrari through Adam Driver's convincing portrayal, Enzo Ferrari was a force to be reckoned with and had an incredibly strong personality that would often rub people the wrong way, even his closest business associates. In 1962, many of these conflicts came to a head when a group of Ferrari's key figures, including two managers, Girolamo Gardini and Romolo Tavani, as well as Ferrari's chief engineer Carlo Cd and development head Giotto Bizzarini, left Ferrari to start Automobili Turismo eSport ATS, in an attempt to become one of Ferrari's biggest rivals, which was ultimately unsuccessful. Even after the so-called great walkout at Ferrari, more tragedy struck the seemingly undefeatable company and the men behind the operation. Much of the tragedy came at the expense of the drivers, whom Ferrari was often accused of intentionally pitting against each other in order to force competitive rivalries between them. The real tragedy, however, was the increasing death toll between 1955 and 1971, which saw eight Ferrari drivers killed in Ferrari racing cars. These drivers include Alberto Ascari, Eugenio Castellotti, Alfonso de Portigo, Luigi Musso, Peter Collins, Wolfgang von Trips, Lorenzo Bandini, and Ignazio Gianti.